I want to divorce my husband right after the wedding. He did the unthinkable, but said it was just a prank. Am I the a-hole? Pranks near weddings, the perfect way to solidify your divorce. Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, we're about to uh, commit to each other for life and, you know, have this have this beautiful event. Why don't we throw it all away for a few laughs? So I, female 27, and my husband, male 29, have been together for three years. In those three years, I have never known him to be selfish, occasionally immature, yes, but even that was rare. These problems arose when those stupid cake smashing videos got popular and my husband thought they were hilarious. I've never thought that they were funny and he knows that, yet he was always showing me the videos of these poor wives getting the happiest day of their life ruined by their asshole partner for some cheap laughs. He also knows I have a history with cake smashing. Oh, no. oh wow. Also, these are expensive laughs. Like a cake is like $500 for a wedding. My family does the cake smashing thing. I remember it. It was my 17th birthday and I pleaded with my mom no, not to do God. it. She promised and I trusted her. Idiot. Why would you trust your own mother? Especially if it's a family tradition. Come, Come on. on, bro. It's tradition. Tradition runs deep. <laughs> Too deep. I had my hair and my makeup all nice and right as I blew out my candles and my mom pushed my head into the cake and one of the decorations and the cake ended up slicing open my forehead. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, this is way too much. Now, it wasn't bad enough to go to the hospital, but enough for some substantial bleeding. My birthday was ruined and after I wouldn't come out of my room. My mom still calls me a brat for that. Excuse me? Dude, she's bleeding. Bro, worst mom of the year award. I told him if he ever did something like that to me, I would leave him. He started laughing, but I was being for real, though he was really not taking me seriously. Now, skip to a few days ago when my wedding happened. Everything was perfect. I was happy. He was happy. Oh, God. I was excited for our new lives as newlyweds. Oh, God. I felt like a princess in my poofy white dress and done up hair with perfect makeup. All very expensive things. We get to the cake cutting part, and as I turn to him, he scoops up a huge no. chunk of wedding cake. No. And smashes it all over my face. Bro. Everything just seemed to go in slow motion for a few moments. Whoa. He was just laughing at me. And then he says, <laughs> you should see your face, and continued to laugh. Other people in the crowd, mostly my family, are also just laughing at me. Then I just started to walk away. He realizes that I'm leaving and tries to catch up with me and says, I'm being extra. I push him away and order an Uber out of her own wedding. Dude, imagine the Uber driver picking <laughs> her up. As I get outside, most of the crowd is following me and telling me to come back. Oh God, that's a terrible sight. I get into the Uber and I drive away. I drove to our apartment and packed most of my things and went to stay at a hotel. I currently though, I'm staying at a friend's house. My family and his family have been blowing up my phone for days, saying I'm being childish and my husband is a good man and it was just a joke. My husband has been calling me off the hook, telling me to please come home and that he just wants to talk, that he's sorry and didn't think that I'd get emotional. Bro. Bro, it's the wedding. Of course you there's going to be emotions. And also it's the trauma cake. It's the trauma cake. This was supposed to be the happiest day of our lives and he embarrassed me in front of everyone from some prank that he knew I hated. And not only that, he ruined a $500 cake. He ruined my makeup, my hair, and the top of my dress. $500. Jeez. And the dress too, damn. We're, we're thousands of, he basically has ruined thousands of dollars. Back to the story. The cake got all over. Though I still do love him, I'm wondering if I really was too hard on him. That seems to be everyone else's opinion. So am I the a-hole? We have a beefy update. Beefy. But Sam, everyone in the comments, is OP the a-hole for basically abandoning her husband at the wedding <laughs> and maybe forever? So like, I think she is not the a-hole because she made it very clear beforehand yeah. that she did not want to be kicked. Yeah. She made it very, very clear. What are you guys, uh, do you think OP is going to leave him or stay with him? I think she's going to leave. All right, well, let's find out. Update, I decided to speak to him bright and early this morning. I am leaving him. 
Some of you might be happy about that and some of you might not be. I decided to call him and get his reasoning for why he did what he did. He told me he just thought it was a funny prank and, <laughs> uh, and if it was at the wedding on a happy day that he could change my mind. Plus, since it was a tradition in my family that I wasn't following, he thought that he could get points with my family. Then he told me he's sorry that I took it as disrespect. Oh, okay, buddy. You that said is the fakest apology ever. I'm sorry you feel offended, babe. Oh my god, I just thought it'd be so. You know, I was just trying to win brownie points with your mom. Which, by the way, uh, she's looking fine, babe. I told him that he shouldn't be saying that he's sorry I took it that way. Correct. He should be apologizing for hurting me. Yes. Also correct. Where is the? I'm sorry. I told him that he hasn't apologized with accountability once. All of his apologies have been Are backhanded. Fake. They're so fake. So fake. I also reminded him that I don't have a good relationship with most of my family, nor my mother, also who he forced me to invite. I told him he knew I was already the black sheep of my family, and the verbal abuse and public humiliation I received from my mother for years really messed with me, and he knew that. Then he says... Why should I have to apologize just because you can't take a joke? I blew up and I told him, are you serious? If it was me who hurt you to this degree, the first thing I do, apologize. While you can't even force yourself to be decent for a few seconds and just apologize to me. I told him that he was trying to get in good with a family who abused me by publicly humiliating me and that something like that is unforgivable. Marriage means you stick by me, yet you showed you obviously do not. It's not about you ruining my dress or my hair or even the cake. It's about how you knew how I would feel about this and the trauma that I had connected and you didn't care. He then tried doubling down again and saying it wasn't his fault for not apologizing because my family was telling him how dramatic I was and how I was hurting them by leaving the wedding for a joke. He said he loves me and he doesn't want to break up over this nonsense and that I should just come home. Dude, he's not even apologizing. He's not even, he's quadrupling down. My God. I told him I wasn't coming home and it wasn't even about the cake anymore. It's just because I cannot be with a man who won't apologize when he's wrong and who gaslights their significant other into receiving the blame. He starts cursing me out at this point, but after about a minute of hearing him scream at me, I hung up. Good for you. Good for you. I guess he just started telling my family because within half an hour, my phone was blowing up again. The worst ones had to be from my mother and sister. My mother was telling me I'm going to end up alone because I can't take jokes and I'll never be able to keep a man with my attitude. Even saying that my clock is running out fast for having babies, I guess, and when it did, no one will want me and I'll be alone. Okay, the sister is worse. My sister was telling me I'm a disgusting B word for hurting his brother and wasting his time. Bro, that she wishes that he would have broken up with me two years ago when he first wanted to. Oh, jeez. So now I guess I know how he wanted to break up with me. My God. What I also know is that he was cheating on me for six months with his ex who wanted him back, but then she dropped him because he stayed with me. The thing is, I had a good relationship with his sister and she knew that he was cheating on me. I guess she put everything out on the table since I was leaving anyways. I blocked most of my family and I blocked all of his family. I also blocked him and I am getting the annulment. My friend said I could stay with her for a few months till I get back on my feet and I told her I really appreciated it. So yeah, that's the end. I'm crying while I'm typing this. I wasted three years on a man who never really cared about me. I've lost what little relationship I had with my family, and now I only have the few friends that I've been blessed with. I'm going to have to pick up the rest of my stuff. I also told him before I blocked him, if he broke anything of mine, that I would bring him to court. Thank you for all the kind words and encouragement. I'm gonna go to sleep now since I haven't done so in 24 hours. Woo, doozy. It's crazy that the family knew all the shit that OP's husband was doing, like the cheating with the ex like and you're not going to say anything nothing saying nothing and also like that just makes the husband look worse oh a hundred percent like that's a, like like i know like the sister is just trying to twist the knife but that just makes your brother look terrible yeah so it's like 
Yeah, I should have left him for that. You're right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Yeah, I, I think OP, just be glad that this cake smash thing happened because yeah. there was a lot beneath the surface that I guess you didn't know about that you should have laughed him over. That's 100% true. Yeah, this is a blessing. Imagine she yeah. stayed in the marriage for, for oh, yeah. three more years. Wow, terrible. Would have been awful. Would've terrible. Been awful. Um, but uh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would love to know from you guys. I mean, I guess like, do you think OP made the right decision? Yeah. Like leaving how she did. Um, is there anything that you would have done differently? And have you had your own, you know, any of your wedding stories? Um, if you've seen someone walk out, had to walk out yourself, like any sort of like, wedding disaster scenarios that you've been through but um yeah let us know your stories <laughs> let us know your <laughs> stories uh speaking of which i have an idea to add another layer to our trauma cake sam yeah what getting into this next story let's do it okay op am i the asshole for going no contact with my dad if he doesn't go to my wedding what would he leave the wedding for the music is bad there weren't any hotties there you should have had hotter friends op riley knows all about that he loves bridesmaids so my 26 female father, 59 male, is a slightly known musician in my home country. Due to his career, he missed out on most of my milestones while I was growing up. School plays, a few birthdays, and both my high school and college graduations, to name a few. That's a lot of events. That's a lot. <laughs> Mostly events he was informed of months in advance and canceled on me either weeks or days before. He always apologized for doing so, but never really seemed to feel guilty. I remember we almost had a fight because I didn't want to watch a video he had missed my high school graduation to film. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, daughter, check out my sick new music video. I got this crazy riff going on. It was so worth it's abandoning like, you. <laughs> Dad, you didn't come to my high school graduation. I don't care about this. But these riffs, these Sally. These riffs, though. Come on, they're sweet. It hurt me so much as a child that I stopped expecting him to show up. It still bothered me when I got older, but at that point, I understood that it was his job and I should be grateful he even had one. I'm getting married early September. My fiance, 28 male, and I have been planning his wedding for a year and a half. The date was decided and invitations were sent months ago. Almost every guest has already RSVP'd. I've reminded my father of the date several times this past year, and he kept assuring me that he had blocked the entire week of the wedding and would be there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. A couple days ago, my father called to inform me that he had to schedule a concert for my wedding day. <laughs> Bro! Or maybe, twist, I'm going to be your wedding band <laughs> and the concert's at your wedding. See, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? That would actually be a good idea. That is the obvious solution. Yeah. But alas, that's probably not what's going to happen. Oh. He apologized and said he'd make it up to me with a gift. I don't want a gift. I want my father to come to my wedding. So I told him that either he figured out a way to reschedule, which I know he could probably do if he tried, or I'd cut ties with him. I mean, we're at that point. We're really at that point. What followed was one of the biggest fights we've ever had. He called me ungrateful, spoiled, and selfish for giving him that kind of ultimatum and expecting him to change his work schedule for my own benefit, which he asked me to do many occasions before. So like he's asked her to change her work schedule many times, but he's like, no, I'm not going to change mine. He yelled and I held myself not to yell back. We're still fighting over this. Most of my family is on my side, though both my mom, divorced from my dad, and my fiance have warned me not to make any moves I might regret. My sister, 20 female, is on my father's side, which doesn't surprise me. I love my father, and I really don't want to stop talking to him, but I'm done with him expecting to be able to miss out on my life with no consequences. That being said, I'd be lying if I said I don't feel guilty. Just writing this all down has made me feel like a huge brat. So, am I the asshole? And there are some edits, but so far, what do you think? Is OP the asshole? I think that OP is not the asshole because it's just like, it just reaches a point. And also like your wedding day, that is like the most important day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and, and it's build up over like a lot of time. Up. Like, yeah. it, you know, he's missed so many things before. And maybe it's felt like it was like smaller and inconsequential, but this is something that's really important to OP that she said, Hey, this is really important to me. Please make this and gave him a ton of time to figure out how to make it. 
and he still just didn't show up. It feels like the last story a lot too, because it's like, it's like that attitude of like, Hey, I don't care. Like, like you should, you should adjust to me. I'm not going to apologize. Like it's that same mentality. I yeah. feel like. And it's like, that's a, not a mentality that builds strong relationships. No. Or builds healthy relationships. So maybe it's not a relationship that you need to have in your life. Bye, daddy. Bye. But there are some edits. Oh. So my mom and my fiance are 100% on my side. They told me to be careful because they know I don't really want to go no contact. Also, my mom has barely spoken to my father in almost 20 years. And my fiance is with me because we love each other, not because who my father is. My father is not a struggling artist. He's been in the line of work since before I was born. I wouldn't consider him rich, but he lives more than just comfortably. If I thought he couldn't afford to reschedule a concert, I wouldn't blame him for not being able to come to the wedding. And yes, he paid child support and provided for both me and my sister. I do have other people who can walk me down the aisle, my stepdad, which would make my dad furious. So I might do it purely out of pettiness. <laughs> yeah. And at least two of my friends who would be more than willing to. My father isn't paying for any part of the wedding. He offered to, but I declined. I don't live with him anymore, and both me and my fiance have good jobs. When I was younger, I told myself that once I didn't need his money anymore, I'd never ask for it again. My sister isn't the golden child. He missed many of her milestones, too. And here is the update. So, hey guys, a lot has happened, but I'll try to keep it short. My father wasn't neglectful in the traditional sense. My parents divorced when I was seven years old and my mom had primary custody of me and my sister, but we still went to his place several times a week. My mother is a teacher and couldn't raise us on her salary alone, so he was our main financial supporter even after the divorce. Because of all this, he seems to believe he was the best father ever. Whenever we fought, he always insisted I was wrong and ungrateful. Those same arguments were used whenever I demonstrated I was upset over him missing out on my milestones. In his head, for instance, I couldn't get angry if he missed my high school graduation or if he didn't pay attention to any of the projects I developed in college because he was the one paying for the education. I decided to stop complaining about this when I was younger, having realized I wouldn't be able to get him to see my side. This wedding incident felt like a turning point though, especially since he wasn't paying for anything this time. It made me accept that he doesn't care how much he contributed anymore, but still believes I don't have the right to be upset. I now realize there's no winning this. If he doesn't come, I'll be devastated. If he does, I'll always remember I had to force my own father to come to my wedding. At this point, I'm not even sure which is worse. So rough. <sighs> A few days ago, I had a discussion with my father over the phone in which I express all of the above and more. And as expected, he called me dramatic, accused me of alienating myself and berated me for talking to him the way I did. I hung up on him. This is how our fights have gone since I was a teenager and it never solves anything. We haven't spoken since. I sent him a long text basically saying I didn't want to hear from him until he was ready to both give me a sincere apology and own up to the status of our relationship being his fault. This is all wishful thinking. I really don't think either are going to happen. I love my father and I know he loves me to bits, but I can't do this anymore. He's been around my entire life and still barely knows me for who I am. It's his turn to make that effort. Right now, I'm trying to muster up excitement for my wedding. I lost most of it these past weeks. My fiance, my mom, and my friends are all trying to cheer me up, and it's starting to work. I'm definitely feeling a lot better than last week. I'm really grateful to have them in my life. So that's it for now. Thank you all for your support on my previous post. It's the same thing. Same thing, different relationship. Like in the first story, it was it was the husband or husband to be. And in this case, the father just like will not take acknowledgement of his actions or yeah. like realize that what he's doing is wrong. And similar to the last story, it's not that like it's any one thing that he's missed yes. that has been super, super important. Um, it's the combination of everything. Yeah. Like, yes, like missing a wedding is super, super important. But what makes it worse is he's missed every big event of her life. Yeah. Basically since she was a kid. And so now missing the wedding, it seems like the culmination of him just saying like repeatedly to her through his actions, I don't care about being involved in your life. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like it would, it would maybe be a different situation if he had like never done that before. And like the, you know, Coachella of his country or like, so whatever big event was like, yo, we're going to have you a headliner. This is the yeah. only day you can do it. 
But Sam, you're going to have to forgive me. Because we're going to throw down this next story. That's right. Okay, OP. I'm getting married without my parents' knowledge, but it's for the best. Am I the a-hole? So it's like a secret wedding. In a cave. Ooh, in a cave. Cave wedding. Mm -hmm. (laughs) By the way, this was posted on r slash okop show our subreddit um which has been growing really fast we're getting like multiple stories a day now which has been super dope so we're trying to read one every episode if you have any stories go to r slash okop show drop your stories in and we'd love to read them or what you could do right now if you're not a big typer you could actually call us literally right this second and give us your juiciest story That's right. And if you want to do that, call 440-508-6567. The instructions will be on the line. We want to hear your stories. Give them to us. Give them to us. Also, shout out to OK Honey 7837 I don't know if that's an OKOP reference Reference handle. It feels uh, like it. We'll assume. We'll assume. Thank you. So, I-20 female grew up in a big family of eight members, three girls and three boys, my mom and my dad, and I am the middle child. I was always like a maid, a babysitter, the chef, (laughs) my goodness, because my parents were very strict. I wasn't allowed to go out with my friends alone. I needed to go with my brother and sister. So when I was 16, I met my now fiance. He's 25 now, though. Thank you for the context (laughs) Um, (laughs) through an Instagram post. He's very sweet, and he takes me out every Friday to a date night because he cares about me. Oh, I love that for you. Okay, honey. My mom didn't want me to get married because I might end up like my older sister. She was married at 20, and she's now 31 years old. She has a 13-year-old girl, two 11-year-old twins, and all of them live with my mom. Wait, wait, wait. Can you repeat that? Yeah, yeah. So OP's sister is now 31 with like three kids. Yeah. And all of them live with OP's mom. So Uh OP's mom is like, yo, OP, don't get married because you're going to end up just like your sister and have like a ton of people living with me, me supporting you. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, oh, like she's like, oh, you can't support yourself. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So OP is also 20. So that's why the mom is worried. Interesting. Okay. Let's, let's, let's keep reading. So I was not allowed to have a wedding until I have a degree. And if I do get married, my mom always says that I'm going to end up like her. I dated my fiance secretly for two years. And at Christmas day, I introduced him to my parents. Since that day, she didn't like him, but my dad was cool about it. So we moved out like a year ago and she now visits me. I was doing fine despite receiving comments about my appearance and my weight loss after moving out. However, the next day at work, my mom called me and yelled at me, insisting that I come back home because I was supposedly sick and my fiance was controlling me. Hmm. What is like mom's obsession with like being too skinny or like being weighing too much? Like, I don't know. It seems to be a thing. Uh, it is a thing. Why? Why? Um, she accused him of using me for his own gain, even though he works and has more money than I do. She went as far as calling him an asshole and criticizing the condition of the house I live in, claiming that is unfit to live in. She even threatened to forcibly remove me from the situation and never let me go. Okay, this is getting... Mama is looking worse and worse. Yeah, she's looking terrible. It was evident that she didn't care about my feelings towards him. Subsequently, my siblings started calling me to inquire about what was happening. And I was furious with my mom. When I shared the details with my boyfriend, he suggested that we move our wedding date and have a private ceremony with just the two of us. I decided to inform my mom that she and my siblings were not welcome at the wedding. I made it clear that they would find out about the marriage through social media when I changed my last name. In response, my mom informed my siblings about what I had said, and they threatened me, stating that I am no longer their sister. So, am I the asshole for not inviting my side of the family to the wedding? No, I don't think so. I mean, especially the mom just being so terrible awful yeah i understood in the beginning was like, oh i don't want you know like like i i can't take on another financial burden yeah but like that's not at all what happened with no. op and her fiance yeah i think it would have been totally reasonable if the mom was like, like at first it sounded like he was heading there it was like hey get a degree maybe like wait till you're like you know 23 or 22 when you get your degree um and like do it then and then maybe we'll like we'll pitch in to help cover the wedding or something like yeah. that so like if you do that you know we'll help you out here and so it's less of a like you know you cannot do this but it, like the mom just kind of showed her true colors yeah with everything um what would you do if your mom was like you cannot marry this woman that you want to marry 
like like did my mom do is my mom my mom right now or is my mom the uh, mom let's that say, did let's everything? say op's mom let's say op's mom your mom is op's mom oh my mom is op's mom yeah i would not not listen yeah you just yeah. Keep, go ahead and get married yeah i would go ahead and get married and then i would probably not i would talk to my mom less um but thank you so much op for this amazing story um we're we're married to you guys because that you we are are so faithful to us and and listening to Don't us cheat on us we really love it um and again if you want to have your story read like this again go to r slash okop show you can write in your story there just like this one or do our new call line 440-508-6567. Send your stories in. We love you. See you on the next one. See you soon.